Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mrs. E's Chickadees. I'm happy to see you. I'm here with Louisa. Hi. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, and it's going to be a great day. Let's stand up and get ready for the pledge. Okay, right hand on heart. Your grown up will help you to know which one is your right hand. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Super job, thank you so much, friendies. Have a seat. Like I said, I'm happy to see you today. It's gonna be a great day. We got a little more sun today, so we're coming to you from the porch again. Today is April 15th, and we're still talking about the letter M. Three fingers up, bring them in close, down flat. Five M sounds, ready? Mmm, 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 mmm. Now let's try something new. Get up your air pencil. We're gonna draw an M in the air. Where do we start our letters at the top? Ready? Big line down, leapfrog up, big line down, stop, big line up, big line down. Nice job. Let's get up our sign for M. Two fingers this time. Close tight, down, five mmm sounds, tongue up. Mmm, 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 mmm. Air pencil up for an N. It's just like an M with one less line. Where do we start our letters at the top? Big line down, leapfrog up, big line down, stop, big line up. Really, really nice job. Okay, friendies, so today, Louisa and I are here, and we're going to chat a little bit more about insects, because that's what we're talking about this week, and we have a book to share with you, and guess what? This is one of my favorite books, and it's a big book. Do you see how big it is? Two people need to hold this book. Let's jump in. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Have you read this book before? Probably. This was written and illustrated by our friend, Eric Carl. Go, Eric, being the author and the illustrator. Let's say thank you to Eric. Thank you, Eric. Okay, Luisa, are you ready? Yep. Yeah. She's gonna hold that sign. Here we go. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Friendies, hold your little egg. Do you have it? Nice job. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and boop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. You got your egg? Make it pop out, ready? Boop, and crawl him around your head. There you go. He started to look for some food. Let's look for food, Freddy's. He's probably very hungry. On Monday, he ate through one apple but he was still hungry. Friendies, let's pretend. One apple, ready? He was still hungry. On Tuesday, that comes after Monday, he ate through two pears. Let's eat through two pears, ready? One, two, now you say it. But he was still hungry. Thanks, Louisa. Ooh, after Tuesday comes Wednesday. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Here we go. One, two, three. Help me. But he was still hungry. This guy's got a big belly. After Wednesday comes Thursday. He ate through four strawberries. Ready? These are small. One, two, three, four. Say it. But he was still hungry. Hungry. Oh. After Thursday comes Friday. Wow. He, on Friday, he ate through five oranges. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Is he full yet? But he was still hungry. Oh, oh my gosh, friendies, look at all this food. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and a slice of watermelon. Whew! Look at his face. That night, he had a stomach ache. Friendies, let's count up all the food he ate on Saturday. Ready? One. Two, three, 
four. You say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot of junk food, too. Hmm. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. Get out your leaf. Mm. And after that, he felt much better. That's what he should have been eating. <gasps> now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Make your giant, fat caterpillar face. Good one. He built a small house called a cocoon. It's also called a chrysalis. You say, chrysalis. Nice job. Around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Make your chrysalis, your cocoon. Go to sleep. Wake up, wake up. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon. You do. Pushed his way out. Freddy's, what's he gonna be? He was a beautiful butterfly! Yay! Great job, friends. Great, great job. So, remember we talked yesterday about our games that we're gonna play. Remember our game? I've got an egg. What's inside? Today, Louisa's going to play with me, but let's refresh our brains of what we already found in our egg. Remember, in our egg, we're going to have some M words, mm, 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 and some N words, mm, mm, mm. We already found a gallon of mm, mm, milk and a mm, mm, nickel. I wonder what we're gonna find today. Let's see. Count me down, Freddies. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Louisa. Close your eyes. Tell me if she's peeking. Okay, Louisa, hold it up. Ooh, that's a musical instrument that you shake. Do you know what those are called? Mmm, mmm, maracas. Nice job. Let's put them on. Ooh, friendies, which letter do we have more of? M or N? You're right. Two is bigger than one. We have more M letters, but don't worry. We still have one left. Maybe she'll get an N and they'll be equal. I've got an egg. What's inside? Okay, Louisa. I'm watching. Make sure she's not peeking. I'm watching her too. I'm watching. Mm-hmm. 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 What do you got, girl? Oh, hold it up. Oh, friendies, what is that? It's something you read. It's usually black and white. Sometimes there's pictures. And sometimes it comes to your house. Do you know? It's a mm, mm, newspaper. Oh, friendies. Two M things and two M things. They are equal. Same, same. Let's count up all of our items. Pointer finger up, counting fingers ready. Remember, your lips are going to match my finger. Ready? We're going to touch count. One, two, keep going. Three, four items. I wonder what we're going to find tomorrow, friendies. What do you think? So, Lulu and I have a song to share with you too. This is our insect song because we're talking about insects and we just read a book about a beautiful butterfly. So let's sing this song, are you ready? First, a butterfly doesn't start out its life like a butterfly. It starts out its life as a wiggly caterpillar. So let's be a caterpillar, you ready? Here we go. Let's stand up. You can stand up. Louisa and I are gonna sit down. Stand up, here we go. Ready? I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. What'll I be, my darling? Then, our little caterpillar spins a chrysalis and takes a little nap. You ready? I'm a chrysalis now, sleep like me. I'm a chrysalis now, sleep like me. I'm a chrysalis now, sleep like me. What'll I be, my darling? And then, he nibbles his way out and he turns into a, I'm a butterfly, now fly like me. I'm a butterfly, now fly like me. I'm a butterfly, now fly like me. What'll I be, my darling? Okay, now we're gonna do all of them, ready? Now all together, do all three. A caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly three. Move your body along with me. The life of a butterfly, darling. Nice job. Butterfly clap, just like we did yesterday. Ready? 
Really nice job. Let's count Louisa down while she takes our song down. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks, Louisa. Okay. Before we move on to our circle time, we have one more game. Two, play, two, go. Remember this? We're gonna act like we're an insect. Okay, Louisa, here we go. Oh, she's doing well. She's not peeking. That's good, that's good. Ooh, Ooh let's see. Hop like a grasshopper. Okay, Louisa, are you ready? Let's do five hop friendies. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. You look like a grasshopper. That was awesome. Okay, Lulu. Ooh, flutter like a butterfly. Oh, we know how to do this. We just did it. Wings out, flutter. Nice job. Okay, friendies, it's time for our circle time center. Louisa, would you like to show them the pointer that you chose for today? Ooh, her magic wand. Let's get our bodies ready. Louisa will give you a, let's do nibbity nobbity new. Since we're talking about N, we're gonna change that bibbity bobby boo. Okay, Louisa, when they look good, give them a nibbity nobbity new. Nibbity nobbity new. Yay, you do look good. Here we go, friendies. Today is April, a one and a five. What is it? 15th, you got it. In the year 2020, friends, can we count up to 15? Come on, that's easy. Get your hands ready for stop clap crying. And Louisa will give you a mibbity mobbity moo this time. Louisa, take a look, how do they look? Mibbity mobbity moo. Nice, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yay! Let's do a one, two, three, whoosh for great counting. Ready? One, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. Super deep, duper job. Friendies, let's see what the weather's like where you are. Ready? Lulu, you wanna give a spin? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Ooh, cloudy. Is it cloudy where you are? It's not cloudy here today. My favorite one. Is it sunny? I hope it is. It's sunny where we are today. Let's do two at a time. Is it foggy or rainy where you are? No, it's not foggy or rainy here. And let's do our last two together. Is it windy or <laughs> snowy where you are? Is it windy or snowy? It could be, even though we're in the season of spring, it could still snow. Nope, today where we are, it is sunny. Let's see if Louisa and I can stump you on what day of the week it is today. Is it Sunday? Nope. Is it Monday? That's our M word. No, is it Tuesday? No, nope, that was yesterday. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday! Let's give yourself a clap. It is Wednesday! Freddie's really nice job. Okay, back to crisscross. We have one more song to share with you, and then we're gonna share a couple crafts that it's time to head out. Hands on head. This is our season song. Ready? Winter, spring, summer, fall. There are four seasons in all. Again. Winter, spring, summer, fall. There are four seasons in all. Nice job. We are in the season right now of spring. And that's when all the insects love to come out. Okay, so Louisa and I have two little things to share with you. We already shared this one the other day. Louisa, would you like to hold that? Sure. That's a little ant that I made, but you can certainly adjust that to any other little insect. Something a little fun to do. And then in honor of the very hungry caterpillar, Louisa and I made this for you. So this is super easy. This is just construction paper um, in strips. And you'll notice that I numbered them. So this is another little level of challenge for the kids. Have them cut the strips. Those are also rectangles. So have them notice those. You can make them as long as you want or fat as you want, whatever, however many as you want. And then have them practice writing their numbers, okay? Then when they attach them, they're gonna also put the numbers in order. So two different skills right there. Add on a little face and you can make this as short or as long as you'd like. Okay, let's do a little pick me up for the grown ups. Ever forward, but slowly. And it's time for us to end our time together with some positive affirmations. Are we ready, Louisa? I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am, kind. I am smart. I am smart. I am strong. I am strong. Nice job today, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for being with us today at Mrs. E's Chickadees, where every little chickadee is part of my flock. Have the best day ever.